Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the upcoming period. And I've got to tell you, look at our average high starting off on Friday, April 15th, oh, tax day. That's everybody's favorite day of the year, of course. And you're going to see temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than average, which is um, something that we've seen pretty much for most of April. But nothing too bad. We're going to have very cold mornings, though, coming up. Temperatures way down the 30s, so I'm telling you, we're going to see some more frost out there. Um, we're going to be very far from our record highs, though. It doesn't look like we're going to be anywhere near the 80s anytime soon. But look at when we get to the end of the period here. Look what our average highs should be, near 60. So, hey, we are really in the midst of spring, and it looks like temperatures probably might be up around 60 by the end of the period. And the best thing about it, though, look at this. Look at how long the days are. Isn't that, that's just absolutely perfect. But as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to be going on with our weather coming up this week. And I want you to draw your attention down here to the southeast of Massachusetts in our area right here. There's a huge ocean storm that's going to be developing. Now, this storm is not going to be affecting us, so don't worry about that. And it's actually going to be moving towards the southwest, back down towards the southeastern states, which is kind of a little bit odd for this time of the year especially. But that storm, combined with a very strong high pressure center that's coming down from southern Canada, is going to give us a lot of east and northeasterly winds off of the ocean. So we're going to have some very, very nice sky conditions. It's going to be nice and sunny most days, a couple of clouds, but it's going to be a little bit cool. And if you have any plans going near the um, water, if you're going to be in Boston on Marathon Monday, it looks like it's going to be kind of chilly by the end of the marathon. So make sure you bring maybe a light jacket with you. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what happens at this time of the year? Now, obviously, of course, we don't have any palm trees here in New England, but I wish we did. But this is the phenomenon known as the sea breeze. And this is what you're going to notice as you start to head into the spring, especially within 15 miles of the coast. And this is actually something that can actually reach us as far um, inland here as Burlington. And what happens is, as the sun drying rays come down um, in the springtime, they heat the earth. And what happens is that causes air at the surface to rise very quickly because it becomes lighter because it's warmer. What happens is you get kind of a void that forms underneath where that air is, and that allows the cold air from the ocean to move in. And that's why sometimes on days, especially when you notice when you have very light winds, you'll start off with a very nice warm morning, and all of a sudden by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, you get down way down into the 50s again. So this is something that might be happening to us on Monday afternoon as the runners make their way towards Boston. So there might be a little bit of a headwind. And keep that in mind if you're out at the baseball game or at the marathon finish line. Bring a light jacket or a sweater with you. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about the seven-day forecast. And look at this. You can't believe it. Look at this, folks. No rain, no snow. We haven't seen that for a little while. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, going into Patriot's Day weekend, just sun across the board here. And as we go into the rest of the period, we're just going to see a few clouds maybe introduced throughout, the, um, throughout these days. But no rain coming, no snow. And look at these temperatures. Looks like Monday maybe 66, and that might be true maybe for us out here in Burlington. If you're in Boston, though, for the marathon, it might be a little bit chillier. As we head on, it's going to cool down for the rest of the, for the beginning of the week, and then look at this, around 60 to 62 by the end of the week, so beautiful seasonal weather. I hope you get out there, and I hope you enjoy your Patriots Day weekend, and enjoy that spring weather we have.